And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bannerman Quinn. So we're going to be playing a, a Demacia, um, just a Demacia Allegiance deck with um, with Vanguard Bannerman, and then you know with a couple of scout cards, including a Quinn at the top end. Basically playing this here because I wanted to play another Quinn deck today. Um, you know, with like Grizzled Ranger is just awesome, and you know we didn't play any. You know decks like this yesterday and so i want to try quinn out again and i was like really trying to like like think of like where to put quinn and like where to put some scout stuff and honestly there and so you know like i was i was looking for something besides the deck we played um two days ago which was you know just a whole bunch of scout things with misfortune and quinn and just a bunch of other scout things and so i was kind of looking at like all right how should we play quinn um and i was thinking all right well maybe we go i want to do something different than that and so i was thinking maybe bannerman and then what's gonna be my other champion maybe lucian and Se and then senna um but honestly really thinking about it with like the scout and everything i feel like misfortune is just you know if we have to splash you know if we want to splash something i feel like misfortune is just the best thing to splash it's just so good in this kind of deck so if you have if if you're watching this later on YouTube, you got like ideas of other places to play Quinn that's not with Misfortune. Let me know. But it just feels like that's like the best thing to do. Um, and so then I wanted another card that costs like one or two mana, and we're gonna go with Hired Gun. Um, I feel like this is this is the best thing out of like the the one and two mana cards. Besides this, I was definitely thinking about playing um, the Jagged. Is that the name of the card? Jagged Butcher. Um, but I, I think that vulnerable can be real valuable. Um, so we'll, we'll go with that with the hired gun. We'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, everything else looks pretty good. Um, we get a couple Genevieve Elmhart as a new card with Scout and uh, Challenger to, to pair with Sithria at the top end. So we have two good, good top end cards like that. Um, Consecrated Strike gives us another good removal spell to go along with single combat. And just a bunch of other good stuff. So here we go. Bannerman Quinn. Get our Demacia on. Oh, wait, I gotta go play this. Here we go. Yeah, splashing means just playing just a little bit of an, an, another region. It's not like your main region. Like this could this is is likely Bannerman Zed, you know, splashing for Zed. Let's look for a two drop. I guess that's a two drop, I suppose. So we have six Bilgewater cards. We got one in hand, so there's five left. You know, five. So we have a very good chance of. Awesome. I like. I mean, that's just a perfect draw. Like that's that's a two drop. It fills the curve, and it's a Bilgewater card. So that means there's less Bilgewater cards in the deck for Bannerman. Like that's just perfect. My worst case scenario right now is they have like Zed standalone. Wow, them having nothing? Huh. They just kept a bunch of standalones and everything and, and Mulligan. You know, maybe they. Oh, whoops. Let's put that under the win. You know, maybe they mulliganed a bunch of spells and then just drew a whole bunch more spells. All right, well, let's just curve out like that. One drop, two drop, three dro three mana champion. I feel like we may have wasted our perfect draw. How we <laughs> that turn two perfect draw? I feel like we may have wasted that. You like purify? Okay. Yeah, I mean, Purify is great against Grizzled Ranger. But 
Those are going. Do I get rid of a Bannerman? No. Bannerman's just too good. Cool. Good against deep. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, you're just... At that point, you're just using, like... You're using a card to change a 7-7 seven seven into a 4-4. Four four. I don't know if that's that great of a card. Yeah, that's that's just an example. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, you're the luck. You're definitely the luck. That's sad. That's sad. We just gotta be doing more with Bannerman, right? I guess I make them use a spell. I was thinking, like, you know, we get to do that, we pump up this, and so it's two toughness again, but they just block with that thing. So I guess we make them use a spell if they want to kill my Quinn. That's a good card. Um... All right. Oh, should I, should I have just done this? Maybe I should have. That removal spell is really underrated. Alright. Deck still looking good. Like attacking two turn two times a turn is pretty decent. Above average. Alright, misfortune Draven. Oh, 
Oh man, these Grizzled Rangers are awesome, but I don't know if I can keep three four drops, but they're all awesome. I probably can't. So Bannerman goes. Yeah, I, I just don't feel like Grizzled Ranger. Like, isn't that weird? Like, Bannerman's like not a card to mulligan, but Grizzled Ranger even better? Maybe. Super punished. If I just don't block, I would have protector on the birdie and killed their thing. It's Draven time. Get bloody. Get this is pretty nice, getting the Draven vulnerable, so now we play Grizzled Ranger and we get to pull it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we're playing Hired Gun and not Jagged. Little Pill, or whatever that one drop's name is. Yeah, yeah. Butcher? Yeah, I, I probably butchered that name, that's true. <laughs> Harvey doesn't like my jokes. All right. I'm really surprised this 1-1 one, one isn't blocking the 5-5, five, five, to be honest. I thought that's I thought that was gonna happen. Yeah, the permanent vulnerable is is kind of rough, I agree. Uh want a protector or what? Things like seems like it's gonna do a lot of damage. That's fine. Let's play another one of these badgers, dude. This card's unbeatable. It's literally unbeatable. I also don't know what the word literally means. More birdies. I wanted to pull these two aside so that they couldn't uh, have a crabby creature block my ranger, but... We just take an eight. Possible. Probably do, yeah. Like, if they're gonna win the game, they probably just have to take all that. If they play something, Protector's the play for me. What? What? Uh, 
Oh, I guess they're keeping Kato back to keep me from attacking with as much stuff. At least that's the thought. Wait, how'd they plunder? Oh, trample. Oh, trample. Um... All right, GG's. Just train with that stuff. Getting both those out of, you know, getting both those out of there so I can safely attack with the Quinn for my first attack. Three and zero, real quick. Looks like Bannerman is back. Grizzled Ranger is unbeatable. The only way we lose is we don't have Gr Grizzled Ranger. Oh, game's over. GG. Yeah, so you, you mouse over the Oracle's Eye, and it tells you how what's going to happen in combat. So, like, if you don't... It's kind of crazy. I know you're, we're so used to doing the combat math with, with magic and everything, but you can see what what's going to happen in combat. So like you you know like right now they're gonna do four damage. If I'd mouse over that, it would show that we were gonna take four damage. Yeah, so it's something that you can start kind of getting used to. Um. It just tells you how it's going to play out, like what creatures are going to die. Like it gives you like the final everything. Like if there's last breath triggers, like maybe you draw cards, it tells you everything. See, like right now, showing that we'd be going down to 13. Or I could block, and we stay at 16, but both these things die. Yeah, it does take a little bit of edge away of, yeah, of, of, um, but, like, there's, there's so much, uh, you know, so many other edges to get with sequencing and, and everything, and it's all good. All right, so I guess we Grizzled Ranger. I want to Bannerman. I think we play the Ranger. Oh, no! They have their own ranger. That's how we can lose. Is what archetype would do well against this deck? Is the question. I'm not sure. You can possibly go underneath it. Man, Grizzled Ranger is still unbeatable. Yeah, you have to get a, a yeah, you do have to get a great start to be able to go underneath it. Hey Glasgow. Alright, sorry, misfortune.
make it worth my while. Yeah, Undying is real sweet. Um, Undying is not so good against other aggressive decks, you know, with it not being able to block. But yeah, it can do some some crazy stuff for sure. I don't know. I don't have like the best feeling about this game. Oh, I definitely don't anymore. be like that. Rekindler. Mm -hmm. I need to have this for post available. Let's see. If I just play one... I guess. I guess to not die, I have to play Scythria. Show them what we're made of. I think this is my only way to not die because of the overwhelm with Hecarim. Like, I'm already not going to be able to block three things. Like, I'm already going to be taking six with the Undying and then these two. So my only way is I need to... I need to cover up Hecarim's damage, so I couldn't play Bannerman, because if I do that, then they could pull the Badger Bear over to the Thresh. And they, they pull Badger Bear over to the Thresh, then I would have been taking lethal. bad. Man, I'm like one point away from just going straight to attacks and, you know, repost this and kill them. Oh, wait, they, they block with that thing. Duh. Never mind. Such a close game. Such a close game. What can beat? The question is, what can beat Grizzled Ranger? Grizzled Ranger. With more value, with Rekindler.
Is that game? Is that game? Is that game? One blocker. Cythria trigger. We are four and O. Oh. Thanks, you Jack. Thank you, Jackson. Whew. All right, third chance today. We got to get this five O. So far, we were we were four O with those other two, and we lost our last one. Oh man, this is the true final boss, isn't it? We're facing the mirror match. True final boss. I don't know. Concerted Strike's going to be good. We can just get too far behind, though. If I would have kept both of them. Alright, those are good draws. Ranger for our, our four drop. War Chefs to start on turn two. Better than a two drop. Uh, better opening two drop than a protector. Yeah, last three leagues we've been. We've been doing real well. This is a bummer. So, Fleet Feather Tracker will kill War Chefs. Um, I can protect her, so that doesn't happen. But then they just kill my protector. Yeah, that's still probably my best play, them playing Protégé. So if we keep this alive, then next turn I can play Protégé and challenge Misfortune. And aren't we just supposed to play Grizzled Ranger, though? Because Grizzled Ranger is busted. This feels weird. Main phase, Jacket Butcher? Yes. So glad that worked. No attacks. Tough call, tough call. Whether to play Cythria or whether just to play some hired butcher or hired guns. <laughs> Those are the butchers. These are the guns. Get some vulnerable. Make some really good attacks.
Boo. Oh my gosh, I can't even kill that thing. Uh. This is bad. Yeah, I played one one deep deck the first day. Um You know, it's it's over on on uh, the YouTube channel. There we played a lot of mirror matches too. So if you like deep stuff, we played a lot of mirror matches. That just kind of cancels out the plus one, plus one that Cythria is going to give. Wish I had one more mana. Uh. Man. Just gotta do another block. Yeah, this is rough. Son of a Um I don't know, I haven't really played the six mana give all your opponent's creatures vulnerable. You know, it does seem pretty situational because you know, they need to have creatures, you need to have like creatures to take them. Um, so yeah, it is situational, but I haven't I haven't played it, so I don't want to say that it's not good. So I haven't tried it myself. post. Eat up, friend. Oh, oh, that's right. I meant to I meant to pull that one in front of the war chefs. I was doing that. I was going to do that too. That was part of my plan. That was part of my plan. It's all good. Gives me a couple of blockers. I still have mana for repost. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I would have pulled that thing aside. That last card. No, don't be a spell. Can't bite on an empty stomach. 
All right, well, that thing is vulnerable still. You don't play rally. Not your card. All right, five and oh. By not a good card, I mean it's it's amazing whenever you're ahead, but don't need it. This deck doesn't really need rally. Whew. All right. Uh, instead, yeah. See, like instead of playing rally, if they were playing con you know, concerted strike, like that concerted strike killing their uh, Scythria was why I won that game. You play that card, that card's better. Honestly, Concerted Strike has just looked really good. I should, I could definitely see playing this as a three of and getting rid of back to back and just playing another Concerted Strike. So what I'd, I kind of feel like that's what we should be doing. But yeah, Hired Gun was awesome. That was, that was definitely a really good choice for the two mana slot. Um, And this is a common, that's a, that's a rare. I don't know. It's it's maybe good to have two two and one and diversify because of you know different situations. Call for different cards. If you're playing this deck though, and back to back is looking kind of bad in hand, like you're drawing it and you're not really able to cast it, you know, take it out for a con a uh, concerted strike. I could see doing that. Yeah, this deck just looked really, really solid. Genevieve did pretty good. Yeah, like I just liked the 2-2 split of Scythria, Genevieve. Both of these cards were real strong in different times. And, you know, this having having the scout and being able to challenge and just throw this out there, kill something small, and then also attack again. You know, you usually get like a two for one plus pump your, your team. Um, yeah, I feel like Gar Garen kind of adds too much top end. Like, playing Garen and Quinn together, I feel like that's too many fives. I didn't want to do Garen and Quinn. Because I kind of felt like that was too many fives. Like, you do, like... I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's not right. I mean, because before we'd play Garen plus Swiftwing Lancer. Gosh, there's so many good fives. Yeah, Genevieve, no, just it's just whenever uh, summoned, give plus one, plus one. So not like when you attack also, um, just summoned. Yeah, this deck felt great. Um, real fast games, you know, 40 minutes here for our five games. Um, so yeah, you want a, a fast rank up deck. I know a lot of people are playing some of this Demacia stuff, but I really liked this version. Really liked the, the hired guns were awesome. Grizzled Ranger, still unbeatable. Still unbeatable. Um, my Even off stream. My record with Grizzled Ranger decks is so incredibly high. This card is ridiculous. All right, that's it here for Bannerman Quinn, though. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. If you're playing this deck, let me know how it's going. Um, also, let me know what you want to see um, over there on YouTube. What, what kind of videos do y'all want to watch? Uh, let me know what decks you want me to play. Um, but that's it here for Bannerman Quinn. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.